Right now, the Brewers will be staying in Milwaukee for the foreseeable future as Governor Evers signs a bill to help repair AmFam Field. Plus, frightening moments in Virginia where a house exploded last night. Details on what led to that fiery scene. Good afternoon and welcome to News 3 Now at Noon. I'm Shane Hogan in for Mark Kane. We begin in Milwaukee where Governor Evers will soon sign a bill into law to help fund repairs for the home of the Brewers. According to the team, American Family Field needs extensive repairs. Some of those include upgrades to the retractable roof, luxury suites, parking lot, and fire suppression systems. Brewers officials initially said the team may leave Milwaukee if they didn't get public dollars for those repairs. For more on the bill and just how much Wisconsin and the Brewers are chipping in, head over to channel3000.com. Madison police are still looking for two people accused of attacking a Little Caesars employee. It happened on Madison's west side on Sunday night. Investigators say two people showed up to get their pizza after the restaurant had closed. The duo ordered a pizza from the location on Gammon Road earlier in the night but arrived too late to pick it up. They waited outside the restaurant until an, the, an employee left and punched them multiple times. Police say the pair also struck the employee with their vehicle. So far, no arrests have been made. The Iowa County Sheriff's Office says an Iowa Grant School District staff member could be charged with physical abuse of a child following a school incident two weeks ago. The Iowa County Sheriff's Office has referred charges against 30-year-old Kirby Grutz. It stems from an in investigation into an incident at Iowa County Elementary School on Tuesday, November 21st. However, the Sheriff's Office is not elaborating on what exactly happened. The school district is conducting its own internal investigation. Despite our policy to not name people accused of crimes until they've been formally charged, we are naming Grutz because of the nature of the alleged crime and his role working with children. Well, it's 12.02. Let's send it outside to Jacob Manasato with your first warrant forecast. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Shane. Right now, we're seeing plenty of cloud cover, pretty similar to yesterday. Although we did wake up with a little bit of snow on the ground, but a lot of that has melted at this hour. Right now, 35 degrees in mass and with plenty of cloud cover, winds out of the north at 10 miles per hour. Across Dane County, 37 in Middleton. Some areas uh, getting closer to 40 degrees, but the majority of our region will likely stay in the 30s, and the current temperatures are in the 30s for our entire area. Now, as we look at the current radar, still seeing maybe a few flurries near Lake Michigan, but for the most part, we are we are very dry right now, and that's going to be the case for much of the day. But we did see about an inch of snow, especially near the Illinois border here in Dane County. We kind of saw about a dusting, but it was just enough to cover a lot of the ground and the trees. And I have to be honest, this morning it definitely was very pretty walking outside, but unfortunately a lot of that has melted. Now during the day, we're going to see high temperatures in the upper 30s, so they're not going to rise all that much, and we're going to continue to see cloud cover. For your evening forecast, temperatures will be in the lower 30s until about 10 p.m. and then they're going to drop into the 20s for the overnight hours with some breaks in the clouds as low temperatures will be in the middle to lower 20s. Now I'll talk more in detail about a warm up for the end of the week and a good chance of rain and snow over the weekend I'll have those details coming up a bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. Well, with snow blanketing the Madison area once again this morning, city officials are asking residents to clear public sidewalks by noon tomorrow. After shoveling away the snow, you should also deal with any remaining ice by sprinkling the sidewalk with uh, sand or another substance that will keep the ice from being a hazard. The city of Madison offers free sand to help residents deal with ice on the sidewalks. You can find a link to find places to pick up that sand over on channel3000.com. Well, it was a close call for police in Arlington, Virginia last night after a house exploded. Check out this video. Officers were attempting to execute a search warrant after a suspect inside the house allegedly fired multiple rounds from a flare gun hours earlier. The powerful blast unleashed debris, including its roof and walls from the multi-story house into the sky. Miraculously, only three officers suffered minor injuries, requiring no hospitalization, and no one else was hurt. However, the status of the suspect who was inside the house during the explosion is still unclear. Israel's military has shifted its focus into the southern Gaza Strip, intensifying attacks as it hunts for Hamas militants. An official with the World Health Organization says the situation for Palestinians is getting worse by the hour. CBS's Ian Lee reports. 
Israel Defense Forces have unleashed some of the fiercest bombardments in southern Gaza since the war began. Targeting Khan Yunus, the Strip's second largest city, looking to take out Hamas leaders thought to be hiding there. But Palestinian civilians are again caught in the crossfire after being ordered to head south for their own safety. In Rafah, neighbors trying to rescue a little boy beneath the rubble of an airstrike recovered his body instead. Gaza's Hamas-run health ministry says ambulances can't reach the injured, and patients who do make it to hospitals are treated on blood-covered floors. The IDF's widening offensive is heightening concerns for the more than 130 hostages, including eight Americans. It is a humanitarian outrage that hostages who were illegally abducted on October 7th are being held without medical access. Some Israelis who survived the Hamas massacre are now returning home. Bullet holes. Iyal Barat snapped photos of gunmen kidnapping his neighbors as he hid quietly with his wife and six-year-old autistic daughter. If we make noise, then they will know we're there and it will end very bad. They will just go inside and slaughter us. With the Israel-Hamas war now approaching two months, both sides are bracing for more painful days to come. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. Israel's aerial and ground assaults have already driven three-quarters of the territory's 2.3 million people from their homes. As the war continues, the United Nations warns an even more hellish scenario could be unfolding for civilians. The Supreme Court is hearing a case about taxing the rich, which could have sweeping ramifications for the existing tax code. Depending on how the case plays out, it could make it harder for Congress to tax the uber-wealthy. The case centers on Charles and Kathleen Moore, who were investors in an India-based company. They were hit with a one-time $15,000 tax bill because of a provision in the Tax Cuts and Job Act. The Moores argue they shouldn't be taxed because the company's profits were reinve reinvested and never received any income from it. Any ruling in favor of the Moores could inject a lot of uncertainty in the nation's current tax code. Well, there's more to come here on News 3 Now at noon. How inflation is impacting the holiday shopping season this year. Plus a rare Babe Ruth baseball card selling big at auction. That's coming up in the Money Watch Report. You're watching News 3 Now at noon. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demry today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Happy Take and Bake Tuesday. Every Tuesday at Papa Murphy's, you can get any large pizza for just $10.99, which makes Tuesday the best day to bring home all your favorites. We might have too many favorites. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. Didn't get a good night's sleep last night? Maybe it's time for a new beauty rest from Steinhoffels. A good night's sleep makes for a better day. Get a beauty rest mattress for just $3.99 or upgrade to a beauty rest black for only $57 per month when you use Steinhoffels 60 month financing and get $300 in Steinhoffels cash. Steinhoffels, your mattress destination. Shop in store or online at Steinhoffels.com. Relax, it's Steinhoffels. A lot of broken springs in the winter time. Cold weather doesn't help anything. At Precision, we're going to do everything we can to fix your door the same day. The best service, the best warranties, and we're always here for you. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. Think all Medicare plans are the same? Think again. A Medicare Advantage plan from Dean Health Plan gives you the benefits you need with premiums as low as $0 a month. Medical, hospital, and prescription drug coverage comes with $0 co-pays for primary care doctor visits. And extra benefits can help you save even more. Get preventive and comprehensive dental, $250 for eyewear, and $750 for hearing aids. Plus, you can save on over-the-counter health and wellness items. All this and a free fitness membership at more than 20,000 locations. Call 1-866-249-1748 now to request your free Dean Health Plan Medicare Advantage Guide. That's 1-866-249-1748. Dean Health Plan, right here, 
with you. At Lawton Cates, we're all about comebacks. Whether it's helping you recover after an accident or return to the job following an injury, we fight the odds and the insurance company for our clients every day. Your life counts. Lawton Cates. Oakmont Senior Community in Verona for active seniors 55 plus is now offering one month free rent and one year free heated parking with every new one bedroom rental. Call Demery today for a tour and reserve your place at Oakmont. Most business economists think the U.S. could avoid a recession in 2024. That's according to a new survey. Only 24% say they see a recession next year as more likely than not. The survey by the National Association for Business Economics indicates a majority of economists believe the Federal Reserve can successfully get inflation under control through high interest rates while keeping the economy growing. Despite predictions of a rebounding economy, inflation has Santa tightening his belt this year. A new survey from WalletHub found one-third of Americans are skipping gift-giving this holiday season. One in five plan to apply for a new credit card to help with the holiday expenses, but nearly one in four say that they're still paying off last holiday season's credit card debt. Half say inflation has affected their charitable giving, and they plan to be less generous than in previous years. And this 1914 baseball card is now the most expensive Babe Ruth memorabilia ever sold. The former home run king's rookie card was auctioned off to an unidentified buyer for $7.2 million. The card showing Ruth as a 19-year-old pitcher is one of only 10 still in existence. That's your CBS News Money Watch report. For more, log on to CBSMoneyWatch.com. At the CBS Broadcast Center, I'm Jared Hill. And at the noon hour, taking a look at the stock report this morning, Dow down 135, NASDAQ up 2, and the S&P down 4.5. Well, our call for action volunteers are in the building, taking your consumer complaints and taking action on your behalf. Volunteers are here every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can call, call for action at 608 27 2833 or submit a claim anytime at channel3000.com slash call for action. Well, Pam's ag prices are coming up next along with the full forecast. And then tonight on Live at Four, just in time for your holiday shopping consumer reports has the best buys for December. There's no place like home for the holidays, but it isn't quite the same when your house is cold and drafty. We want everyone to have the gift of a warm and comfortable home. So we're bringing back our best offer of the year for the holidays. But you have to call us before December 31st. So give yourself the gift that keeps on giving because you keep saving. Stop freezing and start saving. USA Insulation. Do you suffer from chronic or severe back or neck pain? Did you know that there is now a treatment method available right here at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center that offers hope of avoiding spinal surgery for those suffering with bulging, herniated, or degenerative discs? Our therapies help reduce pain related to these conditions and have a high success rate in helping people just like you avoid back or neck surgery. I have experienced low back pain for over 15 years. I had back surgery when I was 26 and had difficulties recovering. The doctors at Midwest Spine and Nerve Center have given me a new lease on life. I am now able to enjoy an active, pain-free lifestyle. Call Midwest Spine and Nerve Center now to schedule a no-obligation consultation to see if our progressive pain-relieving therapies are right for you. generation of streaming is here introducing spectrum one stream with internet advanced wi-fi mobile and now tv with the all-new zumo stream box it's streaming simplified get spectrum one stream with fast and reliable internet for 49.99 a month free advanced wi-fi a free unlimited mobile line and a free zumo stream box when you add spectrum tv go to spectrum.com stream a spectrum store or call 833-976-4999 you can't possibly prepare ah! for j Hut's holiday giveaways. You better scream. There you go. There you go. 
Aisha Curry is here to help us celebrate. On the next Jennifer Hudson Show at 3. Start your new day with the News 3 Now This Morning team, bringing you local breaking news, exploring all that makes our area special, and letting you know what to expect when you head out the door. The Emmy Award-winning News 3 Now This Morning, weekdays. The Farm Report is sponsored by Blaine's Farm and Fleet. It is 1215. Time to check in with Pam Yonke from the Midwest Farm Report. Hey, Pam. Hey, Shane. Yeah, a couple things that we want to jump to right away. It started uh, yesterday at the Wisconsin Farm Bureau Federation's 104th Annual Business Meeting. New change in leadership for the state's largest farm organization. Brad Olson is the new president of the Wisconsin Farmers Union. He is a crop farmer from up in Polk County, lives just outside of Frederick. He and his wife run in about 600 crop acres, also have two children, two grandchildren. Brad Olson's taking over for the Kevin Krenz. Kevin Krenz is a dairy farmer from Washera County who is stepping away as president but still staying active on the boards he will he was re-elected to be president of the rural mutual insurance company so a little bit of a surprise there a lot of uh, the delegates didn't expect any change in leadership so that's something to think about also joe bragger from up in buffalo county re-elected as vice president of the state's largest farm organization so those are a couple of things that resonate with me right away there were also some interesting uh, ballot items that were voted on by delegates as far as policy. They voted to support Wisconsin law requiring an agriculture impact statement to construct solar and wind projects. They also supported requiring new solar projects to have to utilize brown fields, rooftops, and degraded lands or low-yield, underutilized, or marginalized farmland. They opposed farmland preservation tax credits to be claimed for land in solar energy projects unless it's an accessory use of the farm. They want to see safety training for first responders around renewable energy sources. They want to make sure biofuels like diesel and gas are of available on a widespread basis across the state, and they want to keep Wisconsin agriculture land for agriculture production. That was a pretty resounding theme in their uh, men mentions yesterday during their business session. Barrel cheese today was up six and a half at 160. 40 pound block cheese up five and a quarter also at 160. Double A butter today, that was the soft one chain down a penny and a quarter. 276 a pound. Soft like that snow that greeted me this morning. Huh? Yeah, you know, had to get the brush out this morning on the way in, but nothing too bad, right? No, we can handle this. We for can sure handle for it. All right, Pam. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We'll see you in the morning. See you later. All right. Taylor Swift is having one of the biggest years in music history. Endless hits, a sold out world tour and a concert film. And her success is also making her the subject of new classes at colleges across the country, including a law school. Here's CBS's Christian Benavidez. At the University of Miami School of Law, learning the legalese of intellectual property also means listening to superstar Taylor Swift. I remember saying to one of my friends, I'm like, man, I bet Swifties know more about IP law than a lot of lawyers. Adjunct professor and attorney Vivek Jairam came up with the idea while reading about Swift's lengthy, well-documented legal history. She's been sued twice for copyright infringement, um, you know, around that song. Um, a theme park in Utah uh, named Evermore sued her for titling her album Evermore. Intellectual property law is meant to protect the rights of creators. And currently, there's arguably no bigger creator than Taylor Swift. Greg Levy is the director of UM's entertainment, art, and sports law program. This is core, fundamental copyright, trademark, um, and business law at play. Third-year law student Alana Sadler calls herself a Swifty, a member of Taylor Swift's fan base. We have a certain conception of what law school is and what the education looks like. I think that this pushes the envelope. Dominique Devalier says you don't have to be a Swifty to take the class. Definitely more of a beehive, like ride or die, Beyonce. I was super interested in taking it just because of the practical, real-life application. And what better way to show them the value of their degree and, and the things that they've learned than to say, hey, listen, all the stuff you've learned, it literally is front and center in the life and career and work of the most successful artist of our generation. Uh, really Law school classes can feel like you're staring into a blank space. I've got a blank space. 
Jai Ram says in his class, you can just shake it off. Christian Benavides, CBS News, Coral Gables, Florida. All right, it's 12:20. We've got mild temps for the rest of the week. Jacob's here with the full forecast. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Shane. Yeah, temperatures could possibly get up to the 50s for Thursday and Friday, but we do have a good chance of some rain and snow over the weekend, and that will cool things off for next week. And next week is, is expected to be colder than it is today, with low temperatures possibly back in the teens. Now, high temperatures today will be in the upper 30s, plenty of cloud cover, but the good news is that the overnight lows aren't going to be too cold. They'll drop into the 20s, but the average low for this time of year is now uh, close to the teens. So. Anytime we have lows in the 20s, you know, definitely isn't too bad considering we obviously could be a bit colder. Now for tomorrow, we're going to have similar conditions to today. More cloud cover, high temperatures will be in the upper 30s to lower 40s. And then as we get towards Thursday and Friday, that is when we are going to see some of those warmer temperatures. Highs will be right around 50 degrees both days. Much of our area could definitely hit the 50s. But then the storm system will move in Friday night, and you can see how quickly those temperatures will fall off. Highs will be back in the 30s for Saturday. And then much of next week, we'll have high temperatures in the middle to lower 30s, which is actually very close to average for this time of the year. And those overnight lows will likely drop into the teens some nights. So for next weekend system, it is very uncertain about a lot of things. First off, the timing, the track, and how much snow we could possibly get. But a weather system across the Midwest is likely, but the track of it could definitely dip to the south of us, and if that's the case, we may not see as much precipitation. For the moment, it looks like we're going to see mostly rain for Friday night and early Saturday, and then some point Saturday, that rain will transition into snow, and we're going to see mostly snow for Saturday night and Sunday. So here's a look at future track beginning on Friday. During the day on Friday, we aren't expected to see a lot of precipitation, but you can see some of that rain move into our area Friday night into Saturday. And Saturday, it does look like we are going to see a mixture of rain and snow with that with the rain transitioning to all snow, especially for Madison and areas north and west, sometimes Saturday night into Sunday. And it looks like we are going to continue to see some of that snow Saturday night into Sunday before it clears out of the area late Sunday, maybe some lingering flurries on Monday. Now, as far as accumulation goes, we it is very uncertain, so we'll have more details on accumulation as it gets closer, but there is still a lot of discrepancy. But let's take a look at our weather photo of the day before I show you the 7 to 10 day forecast. This one was sent in by Carla from Verona showing a frozen body of water and plenty of snow cover. So thank you, Carla, for submitting your photo. Now here's a look at the 7 to 10 day forecast. High temperatures, like I mentioned, in the 50s for Thursday and Friday, and then that rain and snow will cool things off for the weekend and next week. Some of those overnight lows, especially Tuesday night and Wednesday night of next week, could definitely drop into the teens. So as far as the weekend system goes, I encourage everyone to download the app as we will provide updates as we get them. But stay tuned because a lot can change. But in a perfect situation, this could provide a few inches of snow. But I don't want to say anything specific because, like I mentioned, still a lot of uncertainty. Yeah, download that app and enjoy these next few days before the oh, snow. Oh, yeah, moves. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jacob, thank you very much. Well, there's more to come here on News 3 Now at noon. Up next, let's see what Howard's working on in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen. Move over, banana bread. There's a new quick bread in town, and it's earning great reviews. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Win a hand paint jackpot at Home Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Draws going on now at Home Chunk Gaming Wisconsin Dells. Habitat for Humanity of Dane County doesn't just build homes, we build financially strong families. Habitat Homes financed through affordable mortgages allow hardworking families to break the cycle of poverty and invest in their futures. Your support changes lives. Please donate today. Stella uses AT&T for her internet and mobile service. Abby has Spectrum One. The difference is big. With AT&T, Stella pays a lot more. I do? It's $110 a month for AT&T internet and an AT&T unlimited extra line. Plus monthly fees. Ouch. With Spectrum One, Abby gets big savings. Spectrum internet with the most reliable internet speeds. It's really fast. 
advanced Wi-Fi for enhanced privacy and security, and an unlimited mobile line with nationwide 5G, all with no added taxes or hidden fees. Now you can get Spectrum Internet for $49.99 a month, plus free advanced Wi-Fi and a free unlimited mobile line. That's a good deal. I know. With Spectrum One, Abby is saving big, over $75 a month. That's over $900 in savings. So Stella, what do you think? I'm switching to Spectrum. Spectrum One is a big deal. Call 800-872-0180. Visit Spectrum.com or a Spectrum store today. Two garage doors trying to tell you something. Bad rollers, loud motors. At Precision, we're trained to listen. It's so quiet. A door that works better than new and a happy customer. That's my goal here at Precision. Impressive. Precision Door Service, a name you can trust. This time of year, we gather, we celebrate, and we remember the things that matter most. For us, that's you. And you are why we do what we do. Each and every one of you are wonderful, amazing people. So we'll treat you that way on your journey of trusted care because the way you feel matters. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. Win a hand-paid jackpot at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Downs, and you'll have a chance to win a new Mercedes and a shot at $100,000 in cash. It's the Mega Jackpot Winners Quarterly Draws going on now at Ho-Chunk Gaming, Wisconsin Downs. Sometimes there is nothing better or more personal than giving someone a homemade gift. And one that's on the top of my gift-giving list this year is a super moist and super easy raspberry bread. We begin by adding some brown and white sugar, a bit of baking soda, and salt to some all-purpose flour. We give this a good mix and set it aside while we whisk an egg into some buttermilk, along with some melted butter, vegetable oil, and a little vanilla. Now we add this to our dry ingredients. And once everything's combined, we fold in some fresh raspberries that we toss with a bit of flour. You see, tossing the berries with the flour prevents them from sinking to the bottom of the batter while it bakes. Then this goes into a loaf pan and we pop it in the oven for about an hour or until it passes the toothpick test. After this cools a bit, it's ready to slice and serve. Or if you wrap it in cellophane and fancy it up with some ribbon, it makes the perfect homemade gift. To get the recipe for our Razzle Dazzle Raspberry Bread, along with the recipe for our addictive white chocolate cream cheese to schmear on it, simply visit our website. I'm Howard with Kelly in the Mr. Food Test Kitchen, where today we found a Razzle Dazzling way for you to say, ooh, it's so good. All right, let's check in with Jacob one more time on the forecast. I love the name of that. And our forecast will have a little bit of razzle-dazzle for the next couple of days with temperatures in the 50s. And then they're going to fall back into the 30s for next week. Over the weekend, we are expected to see some rain and snow. It looks like that rain will move in Friday night. Continue into early Saturday, and then at some point Saturday, it looks like that rain will transition into snow, with the snow continuing into Saturday night and Sunday, with maybe some flurries lingering into Monday. But the temperatures are going to be a lot colder for the middle of next week. Highs in the lower 30s, lows in the teens. So definitely prepare for the colder weather. So enjoy the next couple of days, because anytime we get the 50s, they're going to be pretty few and far between the next couple of months. So definitely enjoy the weather. Some razzle-dazzle indeed, Jacob. Thank you. All right, thanks, folks. We'll see you at Live at 4.